Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. My name is Daniel Knott, and I'm happy that you're here. And today's video is, again, a special one, because I think it's something that you haven't seen before. The first time that I've seen that tool in action, it was like blowing my mind. So maybe you have seen my previous video, now I think it's that corner, uh, seeing my previous video about AI tools that we can use to in order to support our testing activities. And somehow the following tool that you have already read in the headline of the video called Test Rega slipped through my hands. And I have, I have no idea why this happened. So, and that's why, because I think that's a great tool for everyone to know in the testing community. And I would like to show you hands on and on a really easy and super simple example how we can use the generative AI technology of Test Rego to create a test that runs in, in a few seconds by just entering one sentence. So let's take a look. So as you can see here, we have the website of Test Rego. It says generative AI based test automation tool. And we will see that in a second in action. But Test Rego is not just just an AI testing tool. No, it's a, a tool that can do a lot of things for you. So let's take a look. We scroll down. So what can Test Rego do for you? It can do web automation, cross-browser, cross-platform scenarios. You can do manual uh, mobile testing, sorry for that, on iOS, Android. You can integrate it then, if you like, with Lambda test, browser stack, or any other cloud device providers in the market. You can use it for desktop automation for native Windows applications, for example. You can use it for API testing to invoke APIs, retrieve values, validate the values, and so forth and so forth. You can even use it for email verification and testing. You can test with SMS and phone calls, which also sounds really crazy and cool. And last but not least, you can also cover two-factor authentication, which is for some tools a deal breaker when it comes to test automation. So as you can see, Test Rego can do much, much more for you than just AI testing. But I think that's the real cool part, right? So, and of course, you can uh, follow up on the website later on in the video description. Make sure to follow the video description. I put everything in there for you to follow up. So there's a lot of information about the tool, what you can do with it, some remarks and testimonials, what the people have achieved with it. And you can see also that it fits into different integrations. So like the stand-up GitLab, GitHub Actions, Jenkins, Cypher, Test Rager, and so forth and so forth. So it's also really well integrated into your known CICD or test management um, tool set that you have already established. So the, the introduction of Test Rega to your test setup and to your test technology stack should be fairly easy. But what also brought my attention when I was checking the tool is the list of the long supported features. So if you can check the video description for the features list. So this is a list, an excerpt, I think, of the features that Test Rego can offer for you. And here are just like the top 42 features of Test Rego. I will not read all of them. You can do it on your own. I will just browse through it. It's amazing to see what Test Rego can offer for you. Um, with a single tool, basically, right? So as you can see, there are a lot of things to do. So that's uh, impressive as well. And also, if you would like to get a sneak peek on what Test Rego can do for you, you can take a look also on the really great documentation. They have a really well-established documentation from getting started guide, like introduction, what can you do with Test Rego, how to set up an account, they have also allocated some videos, video tutorials on how to establish the Test Rego connection, creating everything that you need in one place. They have a lot of information about the table of the basic commands, as you can see here on the screen, and so forth and so forth. And again, as I mentioned before, the, 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 the main features that the tool supports are also covered within within the documentation section. So of course you have a description on how to establish API testing. You can see something how to how to do phone call and how to validate, uh, validate that. And last but not least, I mean, what else? You have Chrome to extension testing, even capture resolutions you can check uh, in order to, to test. That sounds also really inter interesting for you to follow up in case you are struggling with that things. And as you can see, the documentation is really um, 
well done and it's really from my point of view it's really complete and it gives you a really great starting point for you to get started to read all about uh, test rego and how to get started with it um, one more thing before we jump right into the, the real interface of test rego is the tutorial sections so you can also go here in the uh, tutorial section resources there are the tutorials there's even more things as you can see here and you can get an information on, on on youtube on how to get started with uh, test rego and what to do how to write your first test and so forth and so forth so there's a lot of information already on that website for you to follow up on but i know i bet you will be amazed what you will see in a second. So let's jump right into the test Rego interface for you to show hands on what you can do with their generative AI approach. So, so once you log into test Rego, that's the first view that you will see. On my side, you can already see that you have created some test suites, some demos and some tests on my own blog, but that doesn't matter for now. If we take a look at the new test suite section, that's the interesting part. So what you can see here, you can define all the parameters and information for your test suite. So for example, we can enter a name called best by demo. We can then define a type of testing. In that case, it could be like desktop web testing, mobile web testing, or native and hybrid mobile. We stick to desktop web testing. Then we are for the, the best by URL. In that case, we would like to test something there. We could already provide a username or a password in case your application requires a login. Again, doesn't matter for now. And then we can stick or we can pick the operating system version. In this case, we can select only Ubuntu because I'm on the free plan on the trial version of Test Rego. But once you're using the, the paid version, for example, you can go to Windows or Mac OS. On the browser side, you can choose between Chrome and Firefox for now. And you can say how many tests automatically based on the auto discovery should be executed. Let's stick it to one. On the lower section, you can see that we have also some advanced settings. So we can add some HTTP authentication, proxies, speed optimizations, error reporting, and so forth and so forth. A lot of things that you can already pre-configure with test rigor before you start uh, your, before you create your test suite. For now, we leave it as it is, as the default settings, and we are creating the test suite. So we click here, you can see here, you get notifications, test suite created, test of web application started. So there's a very first test executed. Hmm. First time I did that, I was like, what's going on here? Why test rego is doing something without me introducing anything, but we'll come to that in a second. Let's first focus on the left-hand side, on the navigation. As you can see here, it's a really clean interface uh, of Test Rego. You have the all test suites going back side, so you can go back to the start page of it. You can get all the details of your test suite, like for example, the um, operating system, uh, operating system and browser, you with the name, you can get the URL of the things that you would like to test and so forth, and some last finished run and successful runs. And you can see there's something in progress. Um, in the test case section, we take a look at it in a second. We have a section called behavior driven test creation in case you would like to use BDD as well for test rego. And here on the last run section, as you can see, there is something finished. We come to that in a second. And there is an error section and test rego already found 11 -ish potential issues, uh, issues on the Best Buy website. So let's take a look what has test rego found. So there are some JavaScript things here. It has already a, min a severity occurrence and you can right jump into the test case where this bug has been found. The cool thing is you can get some further information, screenshots, error logs, everything from the browser. You can create directly a Jira issue, which I think is really great. Or you can mark the error as active or as a known issue for you to better categorize the things. But we'll come to that in a second. We have reports. Yeah, in that case, one executed, one passed. We have a tree through a few on the execution that we did capture data. I think that for now there's nothing captured. We have some historical data as well. Also in that case, there's not really much historical data to be seen, but over the course of the time, you will get some failed paths and other statuses for you to see. If we scroll down a bit, and I will not go into every section because the test rigor has uh, so many things to offer. You can also have a shared suite. You can have reusable rules. You can use test data, 
default values for discovery. You can have, of course, the CI deke in the grace. Now, for example, if you go on that one as well, you get directly some bash uh, scripts here as well that you can just copy paste over for you to yeah, configure your CI CD integration and so forth and so forth. But now let's take a look at the test case uh, section because I would like to show you the generative AI approach. As I mentioned before, the first time I entered test I was a bit confused because there was a test running and it's basically an example that test rigor is executing. And as you can see here, it has no name, but it's doing something. So uh, the steps that test rigor has been executed are the following. Enter test rigor into what can we help you find today? Press button four, press button four. I have no idea what this is all about. So let's take a look. That's the real cool part here, right? On each test case execution, you can see directly what test rigor has done. You get a thumbnail of the screenshot of the web page, and you can also get the highlight of the things that Test Rigo has done. So let's jump, for example, I think in that screen you can see it. Open it up, and we can see here Test Rigo entered Test Rigo, and then it hit the search button. And then on the next screen, it, of course, Best Buy was saying, hmm, I don't know what Test Rigo is. Sorry for that. Um, nothing to see here. So this was just an example that Test Rigo can do things without you doing anything. Um, also, you can get some more information, as I just mentioned before. You can get the URL, you get the exact time on like how many seconds or milliseconds this step needed to be uh, in order to be executed. You get the console log of the browser. You can also get error information, the things that we have seen on the left-hand side already. Test Rigo is extracting that information. And you get some extra information as well, custom cookie settings. So that's really impressive. But now let's take a look on the generative AI approach. So in order to use that, we can click the add custom test case. And then we come to the dialog. And the, 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 the most um, important part for you to know is there's like two different generation happening. So the first thing is more like the generate sample test using AI. It's more like a chat GPT uh, kind of output like um, add a, I don't know, what do we, what, a MacBook to the card, for example. And then we click that button, and then we have a ChatGPT styled output, and then Test Rigor is suggesting something that might fit for you. In that case, it says, okay, log in, click on MacBook Retina, add to card, got it. Maybe there was some question between card, checkout, checkout, and then order summary. So this is just like, like ChatGPT is assuming something that might going to happen. But I think the context is missing here in order to, to add some really valuable steps. So what really um, is, is much um, inter more, more interesting to know or like to, to see what Test Rigor can do with the generative AI approach is the following. So you enter a description, let's say, find a MacBook and add Oops, add it to the card. So in that case, we say test Rigo, let's find a MacBook and add it to the shopping cart. And then we use the generative AI approach and we hit the generate actual test using AI. And now take a look what's going to happen. We hit that button and then test Rigo added a new test case called find a MacBook and add it to the cart as I just defined it before. And then it takes some seconds, of course. Now the system is booting in the background, you know, Ubuntu, Chrome, everything takes a second to basically start the things. And if we open that spot here, we can see in a few seconds, test, test Rigo is doing some magic. And we can live follow test Rigo what's going to happen. So let's see. Oh, there is something. So you can see here, the first step, of course, Best Buy was opened, then enter MacBook into what we can help you find today. So as you can see here, it enters the MacBook name. It picks something, some random, some random test data. And I think then later on, you can use your own custom test data to change the test case. I'll come to that in a second. And then you can see it's on the, on the detail page of the, of the MacBook. It clicks to cart, adds the MacBook to the shopping cart. And as you can see here, you can follow up the steps. Okay, I think now there's not enough space, but we will see that in a second, um, what Test Rigo has done. 
And I think that's that's pretty amazing to see because I just entered a name or like a, a small sentence in the description field saying, okay, find a MacBook and add it to the cart. And that's what the test figure is doing for us. First time I've seen it, it's like, wow, that's amazing. Like with just a single, um, a single sentence, I got a fully fledged test case uh, implemented. So now let's take a look what has happened. It has passed as we can see here. Uh, so let's go through the screenshots. So I'll make a bit bigger. So the first step is we are on bestbuy.com. We enter MacBook, the things that I just mentioned in my, in my uh, description. It hits the first entry. It's on the product landing page. Then, not sure, let's see. Your card is empty. Added it to the card. Yes. Check out, then it's heading automatically check out. That's nothing I defined, nice. So it adds, it, it adds already some more steps. And I think, yeah, okay, check out, then it stops. Okay, that's fine because I haven't defined anything like that before. I just said, okay, find the MacBook and add it to the card. And it even went close to the checkout. So basically it's on the order summary page, yeah. Um, maybe I could also say like, okay, find the MacBook, add it to the card and start the checkout process, for example. But th that's not the big deal, right? The really interesting part here is that TestRigo has done this automatically based on AI technology in, in just a few seconds. And now the test has passed. And the cool thing is we can now do either a quick edit or edit the test case. So maybe in case uh, there was something between that was not something that you expected. Maybe there was something between some failing steps or whatever. You can go and say add test case. It opens and opens a new window, or you go on quick edit and it opens that window. And then basically we're coming back to the similar interface we have seen before, but without the two buttons. And you see my description, and then you see exactly what has entered uh, from test Rigo. And these are the exact steps. So in case I would like to change something, we can say we click on checkout click the button and then on the next page, for example, we would have the address field and then we could say something like, enter Daniel, oops, can't type anymore, in name, for example. Don't know if this, this is going to work, but that, that's how the syntax is, is going to work. And then we can hit update and retest, right? That's impressive. I would say that's really cool. So the first time I have seen that, that blows away my mind because I, I I did not expect that. So easy to have an really with just a simple sentence to have like a test case generated within seconds, right? And I think that's that's really um just discard that for a second. I think that's really great for people with less technology knowledge, right? Maybe it's something um for 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 people with just testing skills, just sorry for that, um, without technical skills, then they would like to automate something or somebody in the team who has the, the quality head on can use the tool in order to start automation, to simple uh, to simple start with test automation and to add value to the team and to, to generate great re uh, results out of that, uh, with that, with test Rego. And yeah, that that's all I would like to show you today. Um, I think it's a really great start from Test Rigo what they have achieved. Um, I hope there are more features coming out in terms of AI technologies. Uh, as I mentioned before, I created a video on AI and I'm pretty hooked at the moment on the AI side of things. What can be done with AI technology in the testing community, in the testing tool space. And I'm really looking forward to new features coming out from the different um, from the different parties and also from Test Rigo, what's going to happen. And if you would like to try out Test Rigo, go and check the video description. You find the information that you need to know, like website, documentation, sign up page. You can use the trial period to try out your own and so forth and so forth. And let me know in the comment section what do you think about Test Rigo and the Generative AI report. Uh, as always, leave a thumbs up, leave a subscription. Thank you and bye-bye.